Hey everybody, it's Manny Ortiz, and I truly feel that the 24 to 2.8, it could be a 24 105, it could be any kind of general zoom lens. This is the kind of lens that you need in your bag, whether you use it or not. The 24 to 72.8, it's right there on that shelf, right there. It collects dust there. Most of the time, because I'm usually using my 85 millimeter, this right here. That lens is usually there because I don't, I don't use it. I'm not doing many paid jobs. I'm doing mostly YouTube tutorials, portraits and stuff like that. But before YouTube, I, I was, I did, I did a lot of paid jobs. I did weddings, I did events, I did everything. Going into an event with only prime lenses in my bag gave me a little bit of anxiety because I didn't know what tool was going to be right for the job. Sometimes switching lenses in the middle of a job isn't very ideal. Having a 24 to 70 or any kind of general zoom lens will kind of alleviate the, that pressure, that pressure to find the right tool for the job. Let's just say you're at a wedding. You, you, you start you start shooting a wedding. I used to shoot my weddings with a 35 and 85. Who is attach two cameras with two different focal lengths. And since I like to shoot primes, I got a 35 millimeter and an 85 millimeter on this side. And although I love the pop that I got in my images shooting at f1.8, I love the images. I'd miss a lot of shots because I'd have a sling, uh, a hold fast sling with the 35 and 85, two bodies. Let's say I'm shooting with the 35, I'd be adjusting my settings and then my 85 is still not adjusted. So I pick up my 85 and then it's either overexposed or underexposed. So I'm, I'm quickly changing my settings and I'm missing shots. So what I ended up doing was going with one body with the 24 to 70 and I was good. I documented more of the day. Yeah, my images weren't didn't pop as much as when my prime lenses, but I the important part is capturing those moments and I definitely did with the 24 70 2.8. So from now on, if I'm ever doing a paid job, like a, a, an event or a wedding, that 24-70 lens has to be in my bag. I need that versatility uh, wherever I go. So when it comes to you, you know, if you're not a working photographer, if you're not doing a lot of paid jobs, I can see why you don't need this lens because you can pretty much control what you're doing. The situation that you're in, you can pretty much control. You're the creative director. When you're not the creative director of what you're doing, this lens is absolutely crucial to have in your bag. Now, for my work lately, I've been using the 2470 for, I'm experimenting with the 2470 more now with my portraiture because I'm kind of evolving a little bit. I, I do a lot of tight portraits with my 85. I think I want to include more of the environment in my photos now. 2470 is great because I can go wide and then I can also zoom in within seconds and get some tight shots at 70 millimeter. And yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, the trade off, you can't shoot at F1.4, but guess what? As your model's moving around and you're in the flow of things, you don't have to go back to your bag and, okay, uh, hold on one second. She's in, you know, she's in her groove. You got the music going. She's like, you know, hold on one second. I'm going to change lenses. And then I kind of kill the vibe going to my, my bag, changing lenses. With 2470, you can just shoot away, right? You can take some tight shots, wide shots, and you just keep the flow going. So whether you are a prime lens lover like I am, the 2470 2.8, Really? Jesus. So whether you are a prime lens lover like myself, the 2472.8 will be the most important lens in your bag. Well, that is just my opinion. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about uh, this video and the things that I had to say. Uh, with that said, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. One of the little tricks that I do is instead of always using the sun as a backlight, you can also use the sun's reflection off buildings as a backlight and it's going to give you a very similar effect. It's also going to allow you to use a different composition, which is probably the main reason why I do this. And by adding the flash in high speed sync mode,